So before I show you how to install all of the parts inside of this computer, I wanted to go over the parts and explain why I chose the parts that I actually ended up choosing. So for the CPU, we have an i7-12700KF because we are going to be installing a dedicated graphics card, so we don't need the 12700K that has integrated graphics. The reason that I ended up getting the i7-12700K is because this is such a good value for gaming and content creation. And because I like to build gaming computers for content creators, there's just nothing on AMD's side that can compete with this, which is why I like this CPU and why we are going to be using it inside of this computer build. So for the motherboard, we got the MSI Mag B760. And because this is a budget computer build and we're not going anything super high end, this is going to be a good motherboard to pair with the other parts inside of this computer, like using the NVMe as a quick example, and then also using the memory as well as a quick example. And one of the benefits of MSI motherboards, as far as I am concerned, is that they always have a ridiculous amount of USB ports, which at least if you ask me is one of the main factors and one of the main things that I like to look for as a creator and as somebody that likes gaming, that is very important to me because I need my microphone, I need my capture card, I need my camera, I need this, I need that, I need my mouse, I need my keyboard, I need my controller, I need my mix amp, etc. You get my point here. There's just a lot of things that you need to be plugging into a motherboard when you are going to be doing both gaming and content creation. Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money. You do not pay me anything until you see the video, the performance, the benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff. So again, link down in the description below. So for the memory, this is actually my first time getting this memory, but it is from Crucial, an extremely reliable, reputable brand. And because this is an Intel build, the speed is going to matter a lot. That is the main reason I got this memory is because we don't really the only flashy thing that we got going on here is the six or seven RGB fans inside of this case, which actually leads into that. We ended up getting a Sama case. I will actually have some photos of the full build here uh, so that you can see what it looks like. I'm not going to move my camera for you in order to show you guys this case, but I will have some photos of what this computer actually looks like. I have used this case quite a few times. So I do have other recordings and photos that I can show you. The main reason that I like this case is honestly, it has the reverse fans. So the people that are like looking at this case and saying, oh, those fans are installed improperly. These are actually reverse fans. Be Quiet does this as well. And then I'm pretty sure, um, I forget the name of the actual, the other case. It starts with a C. Uh, I just, I forget the name of it. Uh, but either way, Be Quiet started doing this. They started including their reverse be quiet light wing fans that's what's installed in this one and then they also have a normal 120 millimeter fan in the back side of this case so and again be quiet also does this they have the reverse fans in the front part and then the exhaust fan in the back but we are going to be using a pure rock um air cooler for this just because it is going to be a budget build so this right here is be quiet's pure rock pro 3 CPU cooler. I like Be Quiet CPU coolers because they, even though this is a budget computer, it does such a good job at keeping CPUs cool. And anybody that's ever used a Be Quiet CPU cooler can absolutely confirm that. I do find the installation process of these CPU coolers a bit frustrating and they are a bit annoying. I'm going to go ahead and quickly show you some of the specs that are on this box. Uh, but we are going to be installing all this stuff. So 
it's not really that big of a deal. I've just been using Be Quiet products for a very, very long time. I specifically love their case. Uh, I, I personally use their case and their power supplies for my own personal computer. And then this right here is going to be a Power Zone 2 750 watt power supply. And I am going to be going over the graphics card here in a moment, but that is the main reason that I got this. It's, it's a 750 watt power supply. It is going to be perfect for a mid range computer build. So I'm going to go ahead and go over the graphics card now. We have two HDMI ports plus three, eight, or three display ports which is great. That is incredible for a graphics card. I have an RTX 4090 in my computer and I have one HDMI port and three display ports. Not really a big deal. I doubt any of us are going to have more than uh, four displays hooked up. However, this one does have that benefit of having an extra HDMI port installed on it. And uh, I think that the graphics card is very nice looking. It's very clean. Asus makes at least me personally, I love Asus products. So anyways, just wanted to show you that before I installed that in this computer because it's gonna be pretty hard for me to show you the uh, ports on the back of it. And to everybody about to say, there's the 9070 and the 9070 XT. Those are in the exact same situation as the RTX 5070. And what I said about the Intel CPU, I build computers for gamers and content creators there's a lot of benefit with nvidia right now so i just really wanted to clear that up because i know people are going to look at the 5070 it is the only budget graphics card on the market right now so the next thing that we're going to be going over here is the crucial p310 now this is only a gen 4 nvme you can see the speeds here however this is from crucial and they do have their uh, I'm probably going to butcher the name here. It's, it's literally in my com personal computer. Their, their T730 or T370 or something like that. It is the fastest NVMe on the market right now. And it is wild. It is absolutely wild. The performance that you get with that. However, that is for the new Intel Ultra series of CPUs. It is paired with the Z890 and then the Ultra 9 285K. So the reason I didn't get an NVMe as fast and as quick as that one for this computer is because this B760 motherboard is not going to support the speeds that the other one has, whereas this one will be supported with this motherboard. However, even if you got the other one that has those faster speeds, it would still work on this computer. You wouldn't like run into any problems or anything like that, but you would not be getting the speeds that that NVMe offers. First thing that we're gonna do is on your motherboard, there's going to be a back plate and there will be an arrow. And what that arrow means is that you're, it's going to be where you line the arrow on your CPU up. If you look at the corners here, there is an arrow right there. And you're gonna line that arrow up with the arrow on your motherboard for where you're supposed to put it. I've never seen a single motherboard on the planet that does not have that. So um, if it doesn't have that, you can look, the, the you can see there's like little clips on the actual CPU and your motherboard will, will line up with that. However, I've never seen a motherboard that does not have the, uh, the arrow option to to actually do that. And then you got the clip, there's like little teeth here, there's this. So you put this down, you push it, and then you clip it like that. If you made the noise, you did it properly. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to install our memory. And the memory for this motherboard, and I'm guessing like 90% of the other motherboards on the market, I'm just making sure there's no uh, stickers on this thing. Um, you're going to be using A2 and B2 or DIM or whatever you want to call it. The, the DIM2 and DIM4, I call it A2 and B2. And your memory is going to have the teeth and there will be a little slot that has an opening. You can kind of see how this side is empty and this, this one has like a bunch of the pins and lines. If you look at your motherboard, there's, there's little dots here where that little empty spot is going to line up with that. So you just go in, 
push it right on down. And it's kind of scary how hard you actually have to push these. Um, I remember when I was first building my computers, you just really gotta, you really gotta put some like oomph into that. So if it clips and it makes a loud clip clip noise, you did it right. So the NVMe, pretty much every single NVMe that your um, your main drive, like where you're actually going to be installing Windows, you want to put that in the NVMe slot right above your uh, where your graphics card is going to go. You're gonna need a little teeny tiny fella like this guy. You can go ahead and unscrew this. And there should be a thermal pad because this is the heat sink. That's actually a downside to this motherboard that I actually don't like. How the screw came out right there, it's not. There's some motherboards that have like a don't come out thing. So you can see it's got a thermal pad. You're going to have to remove the little sticker. Because this is what keeps the NVMe cool and chilled. And depending on your motherboard, should have the thing pre-installed. Your NVMe is going to have the little tooth thing. You can kind of see here. And it's pretty obvious how you line that up. There's only one way to install it. You can't install it other than this way. You just put it in the... Put it in the NVMe slot. Then you take your little NVMe thing, snap it in, and then you rotate that little clip so that it holds the NVMe down. And then you take your whatever your uh, thing here. That doesn't look like it come out properly, but I mean, I'll take it. I actually kind of like the way that came out. <laughs> However. The screw is supposed to lift up, not that bottom part. However, I do actually like that. Asus's new Z890 um, is really cool. Like it has like a, a hook, the hook, and then there's like a push button. I really like that because there's no screws involved at all. And I think that's pretty cool. So this is a modular power supply. And what a modular power supply is, is it means your PC is going to be nice and easy to cable manage. That's that's definitely what it means. So a modular power supply, jokes aside, what it means is you have all these ports on the power supply. It's cableless. You see there's no cables at all. It comes with the cables that you need for the power supply. And if this confuses you, this is what you need. You need... Depending on your graphics card, there's different adapters now that the 40 series is out, but you're going to have your motherboard. You, every single computer build is going to need this. You're going to need your motherboard power. It plugs into this. It's very obvious which side goes where because this, like you can see, this is the side you can put your motherboard. It says motherboard, and then this is the second part of the motherboard. So you're going to need your your motherboard wire. You're gonna need, this is, uh, this is uh, for the older power, for the older graphics cards, like if you have a 4060, if you have a, I'm, I'm, I can't remember which versions, I'm, I'm pretty sure the 3090 is the only one that comes with the new uh, graphics card, or the new adapter, which I'll show you right now, because this power supply does have that. So I forget the name of it. Um, it comes with this. And the benefit of Be Quiet is they actually care about their products. And they come with this fella right here. You see that? Curved. That means it's not going to be this side when you're plugging it into your computer. Bending it, causing the uproar of people that don't plug this thing into the graphics card properly. Which is not their fault. It is definitely an NVIDIA thing. I'm not saying that. However, this is the one that we're going to need. This is the one that we are, we are going to use with the 5070. The older uh, uh, GPU is are going to use this. I just can't remember. I know the 4060 uses that one. So you power everything on. So that is everything with the, the power supply that we are going to need. So I'm going to go ahead and organize that. 
So I did, f I'm pretty sure I forgot to say that I'm going to be removing the bottom fans, which you kind of have to do if you get a normal size case or a normal sized motherboard anyways, because you can't, the fans are in the way of the front panel connector, the audio and uh, all of that kind of stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to plug in your case ports. Hopefully my camera picks this up. I'm gonna do my best. So right here is the USB on the front. This is the high speed USB. These go, or this one goes into your motherboard. Right there. This one goes in. Right there. HD audio is down here. And I'm going to be real with you on the front panel ports. No matter how well I explain this, you are going to have to search it up on Google if this is your first computer build, just like I had to do. And I'm guessing every other person that has ever built a computer on the internet. So these are the front panel ports. If you get a good case, like a high end, like premium case for a, a like a nice, like, I'm not saying that this is a bad case or whatever, but it is a budget case. There's no arguing that. Okay. I did plug the power for the CPU in there. However, I did not connect to the motherboard or the power supply yet. So that is it, man. That's everything. Now we're going to, we're going to plug the power supply connectors in this one. Okay, so the motherboard. All right, so this is the fan. I really want to get a zippy tie for the right there. I really wish they would stop doing this, man. It was, it was like, nobody's buying 40-year-old motherboards anymore. We don't need two connections. There we go. All right. So this is how you hold these in when you're uh, installing everything. Or you can... Man, that one's being a pain. I'm gonna put those. So there's two sides, as you can see, there's a flat side, and then there's an open side. You want the open side up because the you can see there's like a little small part. I'm gonna screw those down in there. And then these are gonna go on there so that we can screw down the actual CPU cooler. I'm looking at right now as you can kind of see this side looks a little bit shorter and that side doesn't like there's you can kind of see how this is shorter than this one alrighty so that's all that part of everything here then we're gonna put the CPU we're gonna screw the C I'm not gonna do that outside of the case I'm actually gonna do that in the case Yes, thank you. <laughs> it's such a pain in my rear end, dude, lining stuff up like that. I don't care what nobody says. Make sure that you go back and forth when you're installing the cooler so that the thermal, thermal paste spreads evenly. As far as I'm concerned, that's a pain in my rear end. <laughs> Those little latches, dude, I don't like them. There needs to be a screw option. Explain this to you really quick. So this latch right here, make sure that's pushed down. That's how you install this bad boy. You can plug the graphics card in. The power supply. We're going to go boot her on up. The moment of truth that never gets old. Because you never know, you might have gotten like a faulty part and installed something wrong or whatever. It's a good sign. <laughs> so pretty much now, man, it's just, it's, it's going to run Windows. It's going to install Windows for me. Um, hopefully this video was helpful to you. I'm not a fan of it. And it's, that's literally all we're going to do. You also got your Bluetooth antennas. So pretty much all I'm going to be doing is setting up Windows. 
and uh, we'll have benchmarks of the computer and all that kind of stuff as per norm. That way you guys can see what, what, what she performs like, what her 